A cowboy, enraged by a prostitute's giggle at the size of his manhood, slashes her face and body with a knife. Get off her, cowboy. She didn't steal nothing. She didn't even touch his poke. All she done when she seen he had a teensy little pecker is give a giggle, that's all. Gonna hang him, little Bill. When the sheriff fails to adequately punish the cowboy for his actions, the girls decide to save enough money to hire an assassin to deliver justice. I got $85 with what Kate got, and Silky got some, and then mine, and little Sue. It ain't enough. Not yet, maybe. This forms the prologue in Clint Eastwood's excellent revisionist western, Unforgiven. I'm Dr. Stavros Halvatsis, writer, lecturer, and story consultant, and today I want to talk to you about how to structure the first act of your story. In a nutshell, Act 1 sets up the context of the story. It introduces the major characters, the goal of the protagonist, and launches him on his way. But what are the major beats that shape the first act? They go by different names, but essentially they are the introduction to the protagonist's ordinary world, the inciting incident, and the first turning point. On occasion, the first act may kick off with a prologue, that part of the story that introduces essential characters and provides context for future events. In Unforgiven, Manny is a down-and-out pig farmer with two young children to feed. His world is steeped in hardship and poverty. His pigs are sick and dying. Life at the farm is a real struggle. This is the true start of the story. The cutting up of the prostitute occurs months previously and forms the prologue. The inciting incident occurs when the Schofield kid arrives at Manny's farm with an offer for Manny to join him on a contract killing. My guess is you're calling yourself Mr. William Money. He's heard that Manny is a notorious killer, just the ticket to help him carry out his contract. How about it, Will? How about what? How about being my partner? I'm heading up north, then through Nebrera up to Wyoming gonna kill a couple of no-good cowboys. For what? For cutting up a lady. Thousand dollars reward, Will. Five hundred apiece. Manny declines and the Schofield kid rides away, but leaves his offer open. Well, if you used to change your mind, might be you could catch me. I'll be riding due west the western trail, heading north into Wyoming. Manny soon realizes his situation is desperate and decides to ride after the Schofield kid to accept the offer after all. This decision represents the turning point in Act 1. Well, you take care of your sister now, my son. And you kill a few chickens if you have to and keep those hogs that got the fever separate. Manny stops at the home of his former partner, Ned Logan, to ask him to join him, offering to split the reward money three ways. Ned accepts, and the act ends with the two men riding off to catch up with the Schofield kid. And so, the story slips into Act 2. So to sum up, Act 1 sets up the story. It does this by introducing us to the leading characters and to the protagonist's problem. It offers the protagonist a new opportunity, and finally it shows the protagonist grasping that opportunity in order to fix the problem. This is a turning point decision which propels the protagonist into the second act. Well, I hope you found this streamlined approach to your writing Act 1 useful. And if you did, hit the like, subscribe and notification bell so as not to miss out on the next video. See you soon.